you see people as, uh, want to trade bigger, particularly at the beginning, because they've got the money, so I'm, I'm a 10 lot trader or 20 lot trader, but you can learn as much from trading one lot and two lots and start small and realize that most likely in any business when you're learning at the beginning, it's a learning process, there's a cost in it. And the learning in this business is to lose money, really. That's how you get the experience and uh, um, skill uh, from it. And you need lots of opportunities there. And if you keep at it, it is possible to come out the other side as a winner, but not possible to come out the other side as a winner if, it's, if you've run out of money. Okay, so if you are one of those people starting this game, have a pot of money, trade small, you know, really trade small. Trade for real, I, I'm not a big fan of practice trading because you've got to feel it, it has to leave your account and ooh, ouch, yeah, you know. But uh, you know, it's too easy when it's just a pretend trade, you can just ignore it because it never really happened uh, there. So it's got to be real, but you know, losing 100 pounds and then making 500 pounds and losing 150 and making 300, you can learn a lot from that sort of operation there and basically realise that you're on a learning game um, and you've got to go through the apprenticeship and there's the, if you happen to be lucky and win a lot at the beginning, you know, be smart and realise that that's um, just the run of things. You know, you could have started badly or you could have started well, but these, these are sort of random events there. It means nothing. It doesn't mean you're a great trader just started with a good run.